friends, Cloudvart here. Time for another one minute identity and access management lesson. Previously, you may have heard me talking about using the condition element of policy statements to control some of the logic around when you might allow or deny particular actions to be performed. We're gonna continue that theme, and in this lesson, talk about one of the farthest reaching mechanisms that we can use, which is looking at the actual tags that an AWS resource might have attached to it to determine whether those uh, policy actions should be allowed. Now, in order to understand this, you wanna remember that AWS resources have the ability to have resource tags attached to them, such as like an EC2 instance. Now, an administrator defines the tag and attaches it to the resource for whatever purposes and identifiers you wanna provide. It could be simply to identify the resource or it could be used to provide qualifying information for dynamic uh, allocations like what we're talking about with permissions. Now, keep in mind, your friends, that a tag is pretty simple. It is a key value pair. And as an administrator, we get to decide both the name of the key and the value that we want to assign to them. Keeping in mind, too, that the users of our environments may need to assign tags along their way uh, or other programmatic invocations would need to assign tags as well in order to kind of help keep some of this logic. Now, if we take a look at a policy that I've built already, you can see some of this in action. Here's a really simple policy that's built around allowing uh, a user to start and stop EC2 instances. We're not gonna qualify any specific resources, they just need to be of the EC2 instance type. And then we're using the condition element to define uh, when we would allow that start and stop. In this case, the resource, the instance, would have to have the EC2 resource tag known as owner, so that's the key name, and then it would have to have a specific value which matches the username of the person that's trying to run that particular command. Now, as you look at that AWS colon username construct that's in this policy, remember that that is a special type of variable that allows IAM to go out and determine who is making the call at that time. And so in my case, if I'm CVT admin, then that would be the value that matches here. And as long as I show up and have that value, and it's also assigned to the EC2 instance itself, then I would be allowed to use the start and stop instances command. And so if you take a look over here uh, in my EC2 dashboard, you can see I do have an instance here. It's my little jump box uh, from another demo. And I currently have that tagged with a key named owner and I have the value CBT admin in here as well. So this would allow me using that policy to go and start and stop this particular instance. But if you take a look at another instance in this environment that doesn't have those particular values, it doesn't have the owner key, and it doesn't have the right value there, then I would not be allowed to start and stop those instances. And so in the end, friends, by using the uh, condition element, we can look at the resource tags and determine whether or not to allow or deny resources. Now, as you might imagine, <laughs> if we're gonna depend on those resource tags and we're gonna have to enforce some rules around who can add tags, manipulate tags, and then what sort of specific tag values we wanna allow. Something that we'll take a look at in future IAM lessons. See you next time.